Emergency in Sector 3. Emergency in Sector 3. Emergency in Sector 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're locked emergency out of that room now. There's an emergency in Sector 3. And we missed emergency. that jump because we're worried about the emergency, you know? Okay. <laughs> now we're just looking foolish. I mean, there's an emergency. I think I better recharge, right? Still not saving because I'm a trailblazer. Uh, Adam, you want to talk about this emergency? And melt down soon. The main boiler's cooling unit is freaking out. Oh, and there's auto destruct explosives. So we need to go to sector three. We have six minutes. <laughs> SAS was hacked into the system control file. What impressive intelligence, Adam remarks. Hurry to the control room. And in vintage Metroid style, we have a timer. Come on. <laughs> just look up the elevator shaft for like six minutes or so. Just look around a little. You'll notice the uh, door across the way is down, so you can't run past Sector 3. It's Adam going, get down there. What's wrong with you? Check in. We already know the objective. We will save. No, we won't. They showed me. Should have saved back there. Moral of the story is never don't save. Never not don't save. All right. Let's just double check one thing. We had 5.30 on the screen. We're going to let it sit on the map for a half second and think about it. Think about it. Okay, the time is not passing there. Good. All right. We gotta make our way to the bottom right. Before, we couldn't do it because there was too much hot, hot heat. That was a bad choice. <laughs> hot, hot heat no longer a problem for us, so we're gonna want to explore this place, but we don't have a choice right now. We have to basically complete the objective. Uh, I go under that dude. Over here. I had a speed boost. That's my fault. Got. Go! Ah, uh, they're devastating me, but you'll notice I'm taking less damage from it now. Because I had the various suit than the last time we were. Ow, here. Ow. It's fine. A regular part of the plan. We've already been that way. This way, however, we can go now. We're good in the hot, hot heat. Because Samus owes me an IOU. That's right. American Gladiator style right now. Oh! Not that hot, hot heat. Just kind of hot, hot heat. Not liquid magma. I made this a lot more complicated than I needed to. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to redo that, I think. Yep, can't quite make that jump. So, we got to wait a minute. Come on out. It'll be fun. Oh! That's all we need. We don't care about that right now. This room is not a trap. We don't care about it right now, either. Four. Stupid nasally robot. This one, of course, we have to do the opposite. We need to get rid of it. Well, we didn't need to get rid of that. We probably ah, probably shouldn't have. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave the room and start over because we shot out on the platform in our haste. We almost missed a shot again, PT Dubs. Ow, it's fine. Ow, nope. <laughs> you already know what that was gonna do. You already know. 
You already know what this is gonna do too, right? Blech. Oh, I can't, can't believe it's done this. All right, so we're in the main boiler. There's dudes to freeze. We don't really care about them. They don't have a lot of meaning for us. That looks like ground, but it's not. Nor is that. Nor is that. Ow. And here we are at the Ow boss door. I can't time my jumps worth a damn. The boss door is the ultimate troll. That's how we know we ran out of time. There's a scientist, but he hurt me! Now I'm shooting him! You'll notice what he shot at us. Last time, when the X Parasite shot a laser at us, it was a charge beam. This guy seems to have a different beam. That scientist did two damage to me. That's bull! Okay. That's what our beam looks like now. If we charge it up. It's pretty cool. Now there is a platform over our heads. I'm not sure if we're supposed to fight that guy up here or what, but of course we're not concerned about him anymore. He's dead. We're just double checking to make sure there's no path over there. Now of course we have more time, so we're going to need to explore some areas, both new and old. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's dead. Let's take a look at the map. Looking good, looking sexy. Got to backtrack pretty much the whole way out. Ow. Nope, nope, you, you got me. You got me. He's being just pretty damaged. Look at that. Dead. Ow. Ow. I know I'm being lazy, but come on. You're hurting me. Daddy's hurting. Anyways, we gotta retrace our steps. No, no. Bye. Ow. Don't even care. Moving on. Bye. Uh oh. Well, this just got more complicated. Uh. Not this time. Yeah, see how close that was? Didn't even care. Okay. So now we gotta climb. We do have a couple areas that we can go to now that we couldn't necessarily have done before. And that's just this room with a stupid missile upgrade. Whatever. Get out of the way. Stupid fire on the ground. Stupid thing shooting out of his mouth. Uh, oh, that's right. He comes all the way out. I forgot about him. It's been so long. Hey. That door is broken. It got borked. Now, of course, the difference here is last time we came through, we had to go that way. This time we can't go that way, but we can go through here, so it's fine. No, for the love of God. Leave me alone. I don't want this. Alright, anyways. We went that way already, but we had the path above us. That seems super cool. <laughs> that jump was harder than it was supposed to be, but I made it. And now we have... Oh, I hit the jump button. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oh, we have to be careful not to die. <laughs> Fine, I'll take my time, God. Uh-oh. Sir, I'm trying to live right now. Could you not do this, please? Oh, 
all the way across here. We have a door. And that door leads us to a missile tank. The most exciting of prizes. But wait! There's more! Now you go, oh, what does that mean? Well, in this game, shine sparking is not just a thing you do for fun to use. So you can do it for funsies. Great. Great crouch, Samus. Everyone is super cool and amazed by how cool you are. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> I didn't think the charge would hold that long, but I was curious. Zoom, zoom, a boom, boom. Now what? Okay, well we shoot across. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Then what do we do? We come over here. And then that's that's like a dead end. So what do we do? It's, it's unclear. But oh, okay. And then we can come over here. And then okay, what do we do? Back down there, maybe. Bomb along the wall. And, okay. So then what if we like? What if this is all a troll? And like, we just have to do like this, but that doesn't make any sense. What do we do? Like, what even do we do? Oh, the bomb got me. <laughs> nope. I'll be honest, I actually don't remember this. What do? This is all a trick. Of course! Can't make that though. We don't have enough room to boost. So. I don't even think we can walk this in a way that matters. I can get in there again, that's cool. No. If it goes high up. Can't quite make that either. Hmm. Do we really have to have the screw jump just to make this? Seems kind of crappy. We don't need the attack, per se. The screw attack, we just need the space jump. Ah, uh, of course. I think I'd remember that about how often I've been burned by those, but no, I, I had forgotten. It didn't seem like we'd have to come all the way back with the space jump, though. So I hadn't given up yet. Okay, so we've solved our dying problem. We have seven tanks now, which is cool. And we're just going to walk across and hope not to get hit. We got hit. It happened. Okay. <laughs> it happened again. Okay. Anyways, you can see why that was worth it. Energy tanks are always super good, and I'm a health whore, as you know from any other games you've watched me play, so I consider it mission success. Now, we have this thing over here, which was a one-way door from before, and we still don't have a way to get to that. We don't have the screw attack or anything, so we're going to leave that be. We're going to go check in with Adam, see what's up. If this guy would get out of my way, that is, we would go check in with Adam. Might as well recharge, even though we're really not that low. And we'll save, because it's been forever. Send in a text message. Excuse me, very improper. There we go. I'll send in a really short one. Seems doable, I said to no one, because I don't have any friends. All right, Adam, what the hell was that? It all makes sense now. They can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. That's right, it's even worse than we first thought. HQ is very impressed. Don't you find it strange? 
could have destroyed the station with the XN and not to mention the SAX. It's unusual for a self-preserving species like the X unless... Unless Samus is such a threat to the X that they're willing to sacrifice sectors and entire wings of themselves. And the sound's gone. Okay, it's back. Alright, Bioscience and the Habitation Deck. The infected crewman you saw has survived until recently, so he was doing pretty good. In fact, he was probably fine until we put down the locks that let the X in and slurped him up. Alright, power to the main elevator. We're on our way. If there's any survivors to save, we should help them survivorish. Survivoring. Or survive. I think it's funnier to say survivoring now. So for the first time in forever, blah 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 frozen reference, we actually have the main elevator. We haven't been this way in forever. And yes, we can go over here. Of course, that was where the SAX blasted through earlier. Alright. Free missile tank. Thanks, SAX. Our secret best friend. Alright, let's play Remember This Part of the Map because it's been nine years. Because I, I don't. Come over here in the morph ball now, so we can get this for free. And as a tradition, we lay a couple quick bombs just to make sure there's nothing else. Just to make sure. Still, a couple of free upgrades is pretty cool. Uh, was this the cold pack that was to our friend? Yeah. Just a, as a reminder, we can now spend a little more time here rather than freezing to death. Yeah. Just a frozen Ridley, because, you know, never not Ridley. And because the game is kind of holding our hand less, they're not making a stop at that navigation room, because we already know what to do. Looking for life signs. Here, of course, can't do anything. That big, gross thing. That sort of looks like the goo that got stuck all over us when we first got infected. is blocking the way. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to take the safe room first, or the non-safe room. Let's go ahead and save in the safe room. I think that seems like a smart thing. Alright, so now we're in a new area, and we have to find out about these life signs. Meanwhile, look above us. God, I always forget this room, too. This is going to be a nightmare. So we can use them to get up. You gotta get down to get up. I'm gonna go across the very top because there's a lot of false floors in this room. Hey, yeah, look back there. Those look familiar. There is certainly a chance that you could have played Super Metroid and still never seen these things. Little dudes are the ones that kind of showed you certain techniques, like, uh. Oh god, the speed boosty thing. Why am I blanking in the name? Oh god, I used a Shine Spark. I've said it like nine times. So we have this room that we have to do. We're gonna go down this one because it's the furthest over. We are looking for a way to investigate the life signs. Okay. So as you can see, we can only do this in a certain order. Inside there is like, wait, I can't bomb anything. This is where this gets confusing. You can actually go in here. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I recognize. I struggled with it as a child. By a child, I mean adult. That's how you get up to here. Look at that, a tree swing. 
These guys are super excited because they know. They know. 